Okay, let's talk about converting text as you type. Let's say I've got a text field here and I want to automatically convert whatever the person's typing into uppercase. Maybe it's going to be uh, some sort of validation code the person has to type in and you know they're not sure if they need to type it in uppercase or lowercase. So we're just going to do the conversion for them. Now, there's four different possible events that can happen in here that can trigger our script if we want something to happen as the person's typing. So I have in my script here the four different possible events. Key down, key press, key up, and input. So we're going to talk about all four of these and the implications for each. So you can figure out for yourself which one you want to use, which one's the most appropriate for the situation that you're in. Now, first of all, we've got key down. So key down means I've got focus in here as I press a letter. So let's say I press the letter A. As that happens, when my finger is pressing the key, that's the key down event. As I release it, that's the key up event. Key press is when I do both. I press and release. Input is another one specifically for input. Now, uh, input fields and text areas. Key down, key press, key up can be on any element on the page. You can set that on the document. So if the web page is open, the person can be typing on the keyboard and you can be receiving those events. It's not tied to form elements. Input is specifically tied to form elements. Now the difference between these, you wouldn't think that there's much of a difference, but there actually is. If well, I've got this refreshed now, so what I'm doing is I'm going to call this function here called up thing. I want to convert it to uppercase. My event object for key down has a property called char code. This is going to give me the number that represents the key that was pressed. I'm going to take that number and convert it into the string. So if if I type in here, let's say the lowercase a, I should be getting back the number, I believe it's 95. It's giving me a zero for this. So I'm writing out the event type, which is key down. The number is zero. Letter is blank, that's null, so there's nothing there. And the value, there's no value being written here. That's the fourth property that I'm writing out. I'm trying to write out all four of these things. So with key down, Okay, great. I can get the event triggered when I'm inside of an input box. If I type another letter, sure enough, there it is. Key down, the zero, so I'm not getting a key code. It's still saying zero. It's not giving me the actual number, so there's nothing to convert to an actual letter here. I don't know if you can see that. That's quite small here, the, uh, the text. Here, let me um, go into this field here and bump this up. Style, font size, let's say 30px. There we go. That's probably much easier for you to see. Okay, now as I am typing this, the first letter, I hit A, told me the key down event happened. Zero was the char code. So it didn't give me the char code, the, the proper one. Uh, that was converted to blank. And then target value, that was blank. So it didn't think that there was anything typed in there yet. Or the value property, rather, wasn't accessible yet. It hadn't been updated. The second time I typed something, the letter S, key down event fired. It didn't know what the, the uh, char code was. It couldn't convert that to anything. And then it told me the value inside there was A. Well, that was the first letter I typed. And it was before I had even converted to uppercase. Because that's the last line of my function here is I'm taking the value of the whole input and I'm trying to convert that to uppercase. So EV target, that is the input. Its value is what has been typed. Now the second event here, key press, this one's firing after the key down and key up have fired. The key press event is actually going to be displayed. That's going to be the second event. It doesn't matter what order I put these in. If I add all three of these, so key down, key press, and key up, all three of them are added. I'll refresh my page. This is the order that they're going to run. I can rearrange these and it's not going to change this. It's still going to be the order that they are displayed here. 
the sequence that they get fired is key down, key press, key up. Now, key down and key up, they won't be able to tell me what the char code is. They'll just say zero is the char code. They won't tell me what it is. It's been captured by this input field and not passed along. So that means I can't get the letter. The input value has not been updated for either of these. The key press event, even though it's firing second, this one is actually going to let me access the value inside of here. So if I type A, key down didn't have the char code, key up didn't have it, but key press did. However, key press, even though it gives me the char code, doesn't let me do this final line of code. It doesn't actually let me change the value in here because it's still a step behind. If I type another letter here, okay, it's getting converted. There's the, oh, 97, not 95 is the uh, value for A. Key press has the number. Key press has the number. It has the letter. And then when I'm asking, asking what the value is, it's saying the letter A, capital letter A. So that is the value when I had finished pressing it the last time. I'm going to comment out the key up and just run this with key press and key down. This is what's going to happen if you're using just key press. It will, even without the, the key down, this will still happen like this. As I type, the last letter always remains lowercase. The value inside of here is always one step behind. I'm converting to uppercase, but that's being done on the old stuff. This new letter that I just typed hadn't been added to the value that was stored inside of this input. So it converted everything to uppercase, and then it tacked on what I just typed to the value after the case. So it's only when I add the key up event. The key up event we are. So we can see these ones are changing. Key up will convert the whole thing. Key up is firing at a time where the value has actually been added to the input. So the full value is accessible. That letter J, the last one I typed, had been added to the value of this input field. So when I told it to convert the value of the input field to uppercase, it did it, including what I just typed. The downside is that key up does not have access to the char code. If you need the char code, well, then you've got to use key press or key, or uh, not key down, but key press. So keep this in mind when you're trying to figure out which one of these you want to use. So key press is going to give us the numbers, which gives us the letters. Key up will actually have the value added on there so that we can convert it up to uppercase, convert the whole thing to uppercase. Then going back to our final event, the input event, this is one that is specifically designed for input fields. So this one is working as expected. The input will actually give us access to the entire value. This is probably the better choice if you are just trying to update the value inside there if you're trying to do a conversion to uppercase this is probably your best one but it does not give you access to the char codes you would have to take the strings themselves break them apart into the individual letters and then do the conversion uh, at char code to get at the numbers that were inside there or the individual letters that were inside there so those are your four options i'll leave that as a code just in the comments for you if you have any questions please post them below and as always thanks for watching